Hey everybody, this is Avam here, or a voice among many to those who do not know me yet. In the studio today, we're going to have a very special guest named Iron Man Duck. He is somebody that when I first started doing this, he raided me. And ever since then, we've become good friends. Without further ado, and in front of the live studio audience, here is Iron Man Duck. Welcome to the studio, Iron Man Duck. How are you today? I'm doing great. How's everybody doing? As you guys may know or may not know, my name is Iron Man Duck. I'm a variety streamer. I also have uh, VTubing and PNG tubers that hang out with me. They're my part, uh, part of my little streaming characters. We got Ricky and Mr. Ranch here. Uh, we like to play a variety of different games, and uh, our main focus is uh, not only playing the game, but we love to talk with chat, introduce each other to new communities, and get to know each other through all of our communities because there's enough room in the pond for all of us to grow. So we're just making Twitch and, and in general content just a more positive, loving place where you can you can meet people that actually enjoy not only seeing your success, but you enjoy seeing their success. And it's a wonderful environment. And thank you for having me on your podcast. It's a great honor to be here, brother. The honor is all mine. Thank you so very much. So you introduced yourself. You said you're a variety streamer. Iron Man Duck, what is a variety streamer? Tell me what's going on. Basically, it's just like the word of variety means. It, basically, variety streamers, they they have all kinds of things going on. They could be gaming. They could be just chatting. They could be doing maybe a DJ session. Uh, I, I So I that's what I do. I basically mostly do a lot of game rotations and stuff, but the main focus is with chat, and they uh, actually help me through the games and stuff. So that's what the variety streamer is. Some people have, uh, like, strictly podcast or just talking or just gaming. But me, I do a little bit of everything. I'm a seven-layer dip of <laughs> content. Hey, everybody likes seven-layer dip. Even if they don't admit it, you know they do. That's a great way to look at to look at things. Now, you said there's plenty of room in the pond. Uh, it's about bringing positivity. You know, in today's world, when you see a lot of things, you see a lot of comments, it, you even mentioned that the chat helps you through the games. That positivity, that connectiveness... Elaborate on that. Tell me how that, I think that's going to actually revolutionize content creation. What do you, what do you think about that? Well, I, I like it because they, I'm not very good at games, so they'll give me a way through it and all that. And, and what it does, too, is help bring a connection. Like, uh, for instance, Labyrinth will come in and I'll say, hey, it's my bromance. Or Pizza Panda will come in and he'll, like, uh, want some pizza. So what I like about it is it, it's like making those connections with them. So when, when I'm streaming, not only am I, you know, streaming and performing, you know, for you to bring you some entertainment, I'm getting to know you personally, getting to know you about your life, and you get to know a little bit about my life, and therefore we can talk with each other, see how we're doing, and if you've been having a bad day or whatever, or, you know, your life's going good, we can just get to know each other and uh, continue to prove forward uh, our relationship. It's just a beautiful thing. I just enjoy, I enjoy the connections with people. I, I, if you're doing live entertainment, I you've got to be interactive with people. Uh, if you're not interactive with people during live content, what is the point of live content? Uh, because uh, if I didn't want to interact with the uh, content creator, I would just watch TV. So it, it's a real fun way to, to get to know people. And it's beautiful too, because I'm able to reach out and know people all over the world. For instance, Sir Pizza Panda is in Germany. Uh, you know, and then we got Labyrinth, he's here. And then we've got people that are in Canada and, and all over the world. So it, it's cool to be able to meet all these people. You said something there that just struck me like a lightning bolt. If you don't interact with the chat, 
I might as well just watch TV. Do you think that the future of content creation is going to bring more of a personal connection with the people that with the content creators instead of just seeing them as unapproachable stars? It, do you think that the future of content creation is is actually letting the fans know that they're the ones that make it possible? I would hope so. That's my goal always in every stream. Uh, unfortunately, some people aren't like that. But there are rare occasions where someone like Ninja, people are just there because he's a really good Fortnite player. But me personally, I think it, it is, especially with all the different things that go on and as society gets bigger and, and you know, bigger and bigger and bigger uh, and more people are staying inside for whatever reason. Uh, I think it is going to become a thing where people can connect more and get to know each other more. And to me, it's a beautiful thing. So in my case, yes, it's going to really affect things. Uh, and I hope that others see me and use it as an example to connect with their audiences and, you know, to continue to bring that positive D forward. Because, you know, sometimes people are having bad days and if you interact with them, you might be just making that little bit of impact that brings a little bit more sunshine to them. So hopefully, yes, is my answer. I can agree with that. Now, I watch a lot of YouTube um, research to see, you know, what's looking out there, as I'm sure you do as well, you know, to see, hey, what are people doing? What's there? Like you said, Ninja's a great Fortnite player. Uh, Markiplier, known for his, you know, humorous games. Jacksepticeye, you know, known known for what he does. Gray still plays, things like that. I love watching their content, but I come to your stream. I watch your content. I feel like I'm a part of, and that makes me really want to keep coming back in today's day and age, because you're right. I think, I think we are getting bored of just watching somebody else. You want to feel a connection, you know, and that's great. And I love that you can bring that. Now, when you said you're not good at games, that that's not true. Now, I, I like that you're humble in that aspect. I like that you're humble in that aspect, but you have a great arsenal of games under your belt. So let's talk about what, what are you playing right now? What's going on? So uh, on Sundays, it seems to be almost uh, all like shooters. So for instance, today we'll be playing Aliens Fireteam Elite. Uh, Labyrinth will be joining me and Reaper. So we'll be serving up uh, Alien uh, Facehugger sliders to everybody. Uh, however you like and cook, let us know. Uh, we play like Star Wars Battlefront on Sundays. We play Alien. Uh, we play we play World War Z. Uh, on Thursday, I'm going to start rotating between Borderland and Lethal Company. Uh, Saturday has been scary games i've been playing made of skyer and then uh when wednesday i've been doing a lot of supermarket simulator which i never thought i'd like a simulator game but a quacker bought it for me and i've been really enjoying that so we've got almost every genre of games covered i'm i got six different games in rotation right now and i switch my schedule to update each time uh each week what game you're going to be able to expect so if you go down to my uh about on my twitch and you look at the schedule you'll always see what updated game is coming up for that week you heard it here first, folks. You need to check out that schedule to see what Iron Man Duck is doing because he does have quality content. Now, when did you get started as a streamer? Now, it, wh like when you first started, were you comfortable? Uh, how, what What were your initial thoughts and what kept you going? Were there were, Did you have any difficulties? What brought you into it and what keeps you in it today? Well, when I first started, uh, I, I didn't know anything about anything. I, I looked at all these videos. I was like, oh, God, bot raids, hate raids. What the heck is going on here? Uh, and then me and Reaper, we would play Seven Days to Die. It was just two friends basically giving each other a hard time and just enjoying each other's company. So I did that and not really knowing what I was going to do with content. Then I ran across two people named uh, Sleepy and Adrian. And these guys explained to me how the math works on Twitch to get affiliated and stuff. I'm like, what? You mean I, there's a possibility I could have get affiliated? So I had a bu I had a whole bunch of hours. It must have been 250, 300 hours. So they said, you got to get those hours down, stream a little less, and then be more strategic. So we got that done. And then, so, and these three years here, uh, you know, I went from not knowing anything to about six months ago, uh, I saw Delilah the Hologram get interviewed by uh big j so delilah the hologram plays a lot of fallout 76 i know nothing about the game never really played it but when i go into her stream she's so good at explaining it i actually feel welcome there and so 
I, I've been really come uh, attached to her and her community. So when she got interviewed by Big J, uh, I, I, I said, you know what? I need to leap off of my comfortability here. And I went and asked Big J, hey, can I uh, do a podcast with you? So then I did a podcast with him. And that really united, re put a refire on my content creation where I not only have I been improving on my uh, Twitch content, I've actually been doing more on my YouTube content. So we're getting really close to YouTube partner. Uh, then I, uh, I'm i 48 away from the 1K mark, which is the hardest part there. Uh, then we just need watch time. Twitch, I'm two away from 2K on Twitch, which is amazing. Uh, then I did a, a interview on Palmer, the uh, Luke Cobbler's uh, podcast met a lot of good community through there i've been meeting twitch partners uh, other people that are uh great streamers i've met through palmer and other people like macy may and then uh, all kinds of big names uh I, I can't even mention them all i'll forget so then now i'm doing the podcast with you so uh it's really in the last six months i've gotten really serious about stuff i've updated my uh, thumbnails uh i've been and doing all kinds of research, taught myself everything. I've taught myself everything about the streaming now. I know how to moderate. I know how to make backgrounds. I know how to do all kinds of magic. So, you know, last six months have been really good, and I've been doing it three years in the whole. So I went from knowing nothing to now having a focus of, I want to make sure two things happen in my chat, that you are seen, uh, t talk to, and that you have something to do if you want. And I've learned, too, instead of me controlling the chaos and just going crazy and doing it how I want, I let chat control most of it now. So I let them, if they want to do the redeems or if they want to do the commands, and then I'll feed off of them. So if they want a high energy, you know, we going crazy and I'm yelling no goat and I'm throwing screens up, or if they want a more casual, we're just chatting. So I've gotten a lot better at reading chats and energy and focusing. So I've, I feel overall I've grown into a really, really where I'm at now. And I'm really happy with I've kept my core content uh, mission, which is you'll be seen, you'll be able to talk, you'll, you'll, you'll get talked to, and you'll have something to do. I think that is a great core message to have uh, for streaming because really it, it isn't, you know, you think when you look at it, that you could just go into it and it's like, oh, I know this game, so I'm going to get the software to record it or whatever, and I'm going to have a microphone and I'm going to say things about it. You know, and, and, and that's how I started. And I put in the game and I knew the game and I, and I did well. And then I switched to one that I didn't know because I said, oh, I, I can do this. And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. Uh, you know, it, it became, it's, it's a whole, there, there is a lot of preparation. You know, you have to know what you're doing to go into it. But again, Keeping that chat in mind, I think, is wonderful. And for anybody that's here listening to this, you heard him say it. He's 48 away from 1,000 on YouTube. So get over there and get those subscriptions on YouTube. All right? Because They're the free. content is Remember. great. It's free. That's right. You know? And you'll see some awesome content. You'll be happy you did. And two away. Two away from 2,000 on Twitch. Let's go. So... Look, if you're not there, you get right over there, you hit that follow button, okay? You hit that follow button, because I do know that Duck, you know, he likes the company. It's never expected, always appreciated. I believe that's what you say. Um, mm -hmm. But you mentioned the magic. Now, I happen to know, I think I heard from a little bird somewhere. Do you use a stream deck in any of your streams? No, you see this right here, this keyboard, it is my stream deck. For instance, if I want chicken nuggets, I push this button and I have chicken nuggets on the screen. Uh, basically, uh, I have nothing against stream decks, but it's an expensive hotkey machine. Once I figured out that I don't need that, uh, I could just do hotkeys. I actually set up all my hotkeys. I have like 30 of them. I have, I have between the deep fakes and everything, I have like 70 different screens you can go to it, it, it's just madness of how i can do stuff like for instance if i wanted to um let me see here uh if i wanted to be uh xena the warrior princess i could type something in my stream and it would just go right over here and you would see me uh let me uh make myself small and ricky look i'm warrior i'm princess hear me roar it's i think that's xena warrior princess right there right there now that's that she never looks so good, you know? And also, too, Wonder Woman wishes she looked like me. You know what I'm saying? Wonder Woman wishes she looked like me. I mean, Wonder Woman has never looked that good, has she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So, you know, we got all that, and I, I use all my hotkeys uh, for everything. Uh, even even these effects here where I'm looking big and small, these are uh, these are actually scenes on top of scenes. So it'll, go, it'll look dark here, but I have a template right over here where you can't see everything. But inside this dark screen here is a template. It has all my browser sources, all my alerts, all of my different things. Hey, Warrior, all my different things. Warrior, Warrior. And it, so when I add this template to my scenes, all I've got to do is add this template and it add, and, and whatever one or two things I need to add to the scene. And now instead of adding 25 to 30 things on every scene, I only have to add maybe three things like a camera, uh, the template, and maybe a background or something. So I learned that, which makes it super fast because like I said, I have 70 to 90 different scenes. Uh, and by having that template, everything's in the same place, no matter what screen I'm on. Uh, so it was it, it just something I came up with to be even faster at building these scenes and, and fixing things if it ever breaks. Also, too, uh, this guy right here, he has 11 gigabytes of stuff on it. This is my stream right here, completely backed up physically, 11 gigabytes. There's like 25,000 things in the stream. It's ridiculous. That That is awesome. Like, just hearing you talk about that, people – you don't understand. You need to get to an Iron Man Duck stream. You will have fun. You will be entertained. And you will feel welcome. It warms the heart. It doesn't just kill time. It is actually time well spent. As is most of the people that have been there. Me, Warrior Woman, never been there. Hmm. No, she's not even a mod. I don't even know her. <laughs> so, uh, along with that magic, okay, that you do, and again, no stream deck is unbelievable. Now, talk about uh, Mr. Ricky and Ranchy over here, and little Ranchy. Did did I did I get that wrong? You, you got you got your you got your friends with you. Talk about that, and then talk about the magic that makes that happen. Yeah, so um, I've always wanted to have, <laughs> stranger danger, I always wanted to have a, a unique thing, right? So when I first started stranger too, I was, I was uh, nervous. So I would use a lot of filters and stuff, and uh, I, I can't remember if I would use Ricky all, solo by himself, but I would use that. And then plus two, I wanted to have something unique. So when I found uh, this guy, Ricky, which is anime, is a free program you can get on, on uh steam where you can actually make your own or get some of the models i said let me add him that'd be interesting to have a little character with me and then from there it's kind of blossom on uh you know because ranch is such a big joke in my channel uh ranch is such a good big joke in my channel uh we uh actually i was like let me make a talking ranch bottle so i taught myself how to make uh the ranch bottle there uh and then i wrote all their backstory so they've become a, a part of the stream like Ricky will, I'll, I'll be like this, and Ricky will be like, don't you be Rick Rollin' Chet, and don't you be messing around, I'll bite you, I'll slim him off, and then Ranch will be like, uh, I ranch on the controller. So it brings kind of a different aspect to the thing. It almost uh, adds like you're watching three people in the stream instead of just me, you know what I'm saying? So uh, me, I like to be different and unique, and I'm very creative, and, and I just wanted to have something different. One thing you got to realize, in Twitch alone, there's 10 million streamers. What's unique about you? Uh, do you got a nice voice? Uh, do you do silly stuff? Do you talk to chat? What do you do that's unique? And this is something that you don't see often. You don't see a PNG tuber, which a PNG tuber is uh, pictures that rotate through a cycle on a, uh, a uh, on a program. And then Ricky, which is a 3D model here, is a uh, VTuber. Most VTubers or PNG modelers don't ever show themselves with their model so that makes me unique in a way too because i'm in those genres but i'm side by side with my models people have come in and they'll be like they'll talk to ricky and, and ranch my other characters before they talk to me they'll give them wine and stuff i actually had one guy when i did uh, uh because i'll have them on uh reactions to stuff when i do on youtube or whatever i had one guy say an autonomous uh talking ranch bottle you had me at that so you know because that was so funny that guy he followed me I think that's great. You know, you, you are right where you don't see a lot of people next to the PNG tuber. 
And by the way, folks, I have one that will be joining me. Mikey, I just have to get it up. I am not the technical wizard uh, that Iron Man Duck uh, is here. You know, I struggle um, with basic things. I'm just a voice and a microphone. But Just remember it's game capture on that one when you okay. do do it. If okay. you need any help, just uh, reach out. But you'll capture that when you open up the screen. Uh, it'll show the window, right? And then you'll just... Uh, You'll go to game capture and then capture specific window, and then you'll capture that program, that that Viva Tube program, and he'll show up right there. And then on that program itself, you'll right click on the uh, source, uh, go to filters, and then set up chroma key and uh, have it on the the purple one or whatever the magma, and then you'll you'll clear out the background, and then you'll have then you'll have uh, then you'll have your little character right there talking for you. I'm going to have to reach out to get that one again. I was trying to write it down as fast as I could. No, he really knows his stuff, and you're going to see Mikey, and it's great. He created it for me. Thank you so much. I want to take this moment, though, but thank you all in chat for being here. It's good to see you all, to see the feedback. It's it's amazing. Dark Bunny, thank you. Uh, Dark Bunny's my editor, by the way. She She knows exactly what she's doing. I am. She's very busy, so she doesn't always uh, get to that and that's fine and I completely understand it but I get lost and frustrated but anyway it's great to have all of you here today and to see the chat to see the love um, because really that's that's what I look for in streaming and duck the same way you know do you feel that it's it's not so much about what I do it's how I can help or you can help, or we can help, the chat, right? You, you mentioned that before, but I mean, really talk about the connection that's needed to, to make a stream feel successful. Well, personally, like I said, you just could talk about things. For instance, like uh, Labyrinth will tell me about a show, and I'll tell him if I've seen it or haven't seen it. We'll walk about it. Warrior, uh, she's got an evil gnome that lives in her backyard that she'll be doing yard work. She'll send pictures. So, you know, you just ask people when they come to the stream, you know, hey, how are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself if you're comfortable. Uh, do you stream? What do you stream? You could ask them what are some of their hobbies and all that. Like, you know, it's just like normal conversations. To me, when people come in, I get to know them. And now that I've been having a schedule on a consistent basis, it's made it easier for me to remember names and stuff. So that helps me. And I even set my, uh, I've got two different talk box bots uh, that read chat one for uh one for youtube and one for uh that's web-based and the other one that's physical that reads my uh reads my chat in the uh twitch so now i have both of those read the username so then i can hear the username because i have dyslexia uh so it's hard for me to read that tool has helped me to be able to hear the names and learn the names and get to know the names and you know you just get to know people and treat them and, and there's times too where when i say that uh, i really want people to succeed and do well there's been times where I've stopped my stopped the game and I tell everybody live on stream and I will help people like for instance grinder I went into I went into grinder stream and I helped him set up his nightbot because the nightbot is a horrible about auto moderation it'll ban you for all kinds of stuff so I fix I said put me as a moderator real quick let me get on here let me fix all of your settings here for you real quick I fixed his entire settings on his stream and then I walked him through what to do on his nightbot there's been other times where uh, people have had too long of a uh, you know you can put a delay on chat uh, uh, one guy had it set for two minutes I said look make me moderator I'll fix it for you you can unmoderate me at all you know it's that kind of connections that the game for me is fun to play, but it's secondary. It's my main my main connection that I'm looking for is chat and interaction with chat. Uh, so I'm willing to stop my my gameplay and either chat with you or go help you with something if you have a problem because I genuinely want to see you succeed and I also want to see others experience uh, active chat, it, even if it's two people. When you have people in there talking with you and doing things as you're doing stuff, it makes it that much more enjoyable, not only for you but for the people because. Like you've said, they're part of the stream too. And that's what I want people to do. I want them to feel joy. I want them to grow. I want them to get better at their craft. And I want, you know, people to experience things like I get to experience because I have a good community that comes by and for some reason puts a dirty goat on me. <laughs> no goat. Yeah. Yes, goat. That is, so hearing about that, you know, it brings to mind, and if I may, you know, the connection between people there are so many 
people in your chat that come in. You know, a lot of them are streamers. Not all of them are streamers, but you connect with everybody and you know that makes it even better because when you connect with another streamer now then that community gets larger when you connect with somebody who's not a streamer maybe they join the streaming community or they keep coming back you know because they feel comfortable there and you know so you continue to help them it, it's it's really an amazing way there's a goat in chat is that an evil goat or that's the uh, Twitch, goat? like uh, that's a Twitch one that they made for, uh, uh, like everybody was. They're saying oh, you're doing great content, so they made a Twitch goat. Oh, wow! This is okay. what I think of the Twitch goat right here. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I really like when you mentioned before. There's enough room in the pond. You know, that's not just for streamers to succeed. It's almost like you're basically saying, you know, when you're connecting with somebody else, you're talking about the world. You know with each person there's room in this entire world for everybody and all we just need to do is get along you know yeah most people just want to be seen they want to be seen you know you never know what somebody's going through uh, i suffer through depression quite often and stuff so there's people i check on and uh others check on me and warrior and uh me warrior woman and affy have been really good they've taught me a lot uh, in my journey to deal with the depression they, they've taught me you know if you're feeling bad i know it's nature to want to just back away and stay away from things but they taught me go to the chats of your friends and stuff say hey, i got a rainy cloud or whatever but then try to be around people and, and a lot of times they'll pull me out of the uh depression so they've helped me to grow so in essence with the connections and knowing people and stuff not only am i helping them to grow in whatever they're doing in life they're helping me to grow and we're all becoming our best versions of ourselves that right there, folks, is an important message. Becoming the best version of yourself, because really, that's all we can do is be the best versions of who we are. But if we're the best versions of ourselves, we can help others achieve the best versions of their selves. And thus, we're just all going to love one another. But, that even being said... Now, when you did a podcast with Big J, who you've mentioned a couple times, now did you have did you have Ranchy and Ricky there with you then? Yeah. So basically, uh, this is funny because this will explain too how I, I got this to even happen. So when I was talking to Big J too lit, I was like, uh, "Man, I want to do this interview with you, but I, I want Ricky and Mr. Ranch to be there with me." I said because it sounds silly because they're not per se real, but they're such a big part of the stream. I'd feel bad if they weren't there. And he's like, "Dude, I don't know if you can do that." To tell you the truth, I really don't know. So me being me, because like I said, I had the dyslexia, OCD, uh, you know, social anxiety, and other kind of chihuahua disorders. I'm a very good problem solver. Uh, I, I can figure things out. I don't know how I do it. I just do it. Uh, something about dyslexia can solve puzzles. So I. Uh, I started looking around, digging, digging, and looking. I said, what is this over here? OBS virtual camera. And I remember back in my brain tick a long time ago, researching a little bit about uh, virtual camera. And I hadn't really messed with the subject now in a while because I've got two regular cameras, one running Ricky and one running me, and Mr. Ranch runs off of the, uh, the sound. And I looked, and I, looked, I said, wait a minute. OBS, virtual camera, start virtual camera, and OBS, okay, Discord, you can pick your camera, OBS virtual camera. I turned it on, boom, there they were. I said, I, I literally went to Big J. I said, Big J, because he's always in his Discord, right? Uh, he's usually got seven or eight people in there chilling with. I said, Big J, watch this for the interview. I turned on my camera. He's like, what? How did you do that? I said, man, I just figured it out, dude. So now anytime somebody does an interview, they're with me. They were with me when I got interviewed by Palmer the Loot Gobbler. They're here with you. So anybody that does interviews, I'm going to tell them, I prefer to do the interview through Discord because I got to have my boys with me, Ricky and Mr. Ranchi, plus two. Uh, they said they would hurt me if I didn't let them along. You know we will. We go find you. We have a special set of skills. <laughs> That so, Ricky, you know, I figured out how to make it work. Yeah, Ricky gets sassy. He does. No, it's it's amazing the the complexity, the 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 things that you, that you have figured out just by by working at it on your own. 
Can you take a few moments and show us some of the scene magic, some more of that scene magic and, and, the, and, and the complexity of the scenes and the screens and the setups? You know, explain how you do that, and then people that are going to see this are going to see that they need to get to one of your streams. All right, let me see if I can, if I'm able to uh, make my, uh, my actual uh, screen show up on here. Okay, so display capture. Okay, uh, so they are covering the OBS. So let me uh, make this small, make this small, make me small. Okay, okay, let me uh, see about moving this over. Okay, so if you look in here, uh, let me see if I make it bigger, if that makes a difference. Can you, oh, no, we don't want to do that because in this infinite universe. So if you look here and in, in this uh, here, so for instance, this is my home screen right here. Just in my home screen, you've got all of these different things here. So with that, we go to my template. In the template, we've got the emote wall here. We've got uh, viewer attack. We got trigger fire. We got look at all these sources I've got in here. Each one of these sources do different things. So for instance, uh, and my screens here, when you look at me small and then I become big, I'm actually turning on another source when I do that. Same thing with Ricky. Uh, and, and Mr. Ranch. So these are hotkeys turning on these sources. And then another thing too, like if I had another hotkey, it's going to sources. So there's all kinds of different things that I have set up in here that cause the magic. And what's funny is a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is relatively simple to do. I'll turn off my dis, uh, display here. Uh, a lot of this stuff is relatively simple to do if you understand how it works. Uh, trying to figure out how it works is sometimes can be a little bit crazy. But I basically knew nothing about anything. I uh, do a lot of research on YouTube. I taught myself everything. I taught myself how to use OBS. I taught myself how to edit. Thanks to Warrior Women introducing me to uh, CapCut. I've really blossomed in uh, that. I've made how-to videos on that. Uh, so I've just done a lot of research on it. It's a lot of things because I can get caught up in here and take hours. But it's just... It's just amazing the things I've learned and how it's done. It it's complex, but it's simple. If that makes sense. Okay, so you said, let's see, you said you had seventy hotkeys, I believe. Thirty hotkeys and like over seventy scenes. Okay, so out of seventy scenes, and you said you have other ones, so there there must be some sort of rotation if you you know wanted to flip them in and out or you know add things at any time. Do you have a favorite out of the seventy that you have? Uh, set up right now? Well, of course, y'all saw the Xena Warrior Princess. That's one of my favorites. Uh, the one that people like a lot is, uh, let me see here if I can do it. Uh, let me find it real quick because I don't, I, if I had my, uh, this is my favorite one right here. I'll tell people, I'll say, type in the chat, evil cat, and they're like, okay. And they'll do it and then this will happen. And it's, you can't hear it, but it, it, it has me going, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> And people are like, oh, my God, what the heck is that? Or they like to do, sometimes uh, they'll, they'll be a scary monster, and they'll they'll hit exclamation point run, and I'll be like, i got to get away from the monster. Uh, uh, you know? So that and the Xena, of course, is one of my favorite ones. And then, like, I made another one where I'm like, in a, uh, there's a guy in a duck concept that's like ninja kicking people. That one makes me laugh. But um, a lot, uh, some of them, the, some of the screens are controlled by me. Uh, with hotkeys, other ones are controlled by actually trigger fire. Trigger fire works a lot like uh, mix it up bot or uh, some of these other bots people use. Firebot. Uh, basically, it, it's connecting to trigger fire as connect as a web web thing. So I've got the browser source connected to that, and then trigger fire is remotely controlling things. So when people hit different commands, something will pop up over here. I have another bot set up for my alerts that will pop up you know, over here whenever someone follows me and stuff. So I've got two or three different bot, uh, bots that do different things. Some are automated. Some are uh, drawn by commands. Uh, so it, it's because, like I said, I wanted my stream to be very interactive and immersive. So I figured out all these different ways to make it where you could do it. And it to me, it, it just it makes me happy to see people's face light up when I, especially like that transition, like how that burns away. I, I learned that from a video. So like, for instance, uh, the quacking is one people like a lot too. So we'll be like this. Uh, Gomez predicted it. The end would come. None of us listen. Now we must all die from the quacking. Ah! I, so, I you know. love that one. That one always, that one brings a smile to my face. And the, the evil cat one, when I first saw it, I was, 
I was terrified. It it served its purpose. Like I was I was terrified, but I was I was able to laugh at it so much too because it's like the creativity that you yes, the creativity that you bring to your stream, the the amount of knowledge that you put in, the amount of that knowledge translating into work, you know, to make your stream what it is is so impressive and so amazing but you know you mentioned you were doing this for three years now it, this is an amazing uh, amount of skill in three years so uh, amazing but when you first started let's talk about when you first started what did your stream look like then what kind of uh and if you want to talk about the hardware then versus the hardware now, but at least like the streaming software then, you know, in relation to your awareness, you said you started out with, you know, very little knowledge to your broadcasting software. What were, what did it look like then compared to what you're working with today? So basically back then it was like me and I think I had filters on at some point. Uh, I had filters, and Ricky was there. I'm pretty sure Ricky was there. And then it would be Reaper talking. Uh, and so it's almost like almost every other stream you see, almost almost vanilla. I, I had some alerts that would pop up. I had a soundboard. I had a few things, but I, not very much because I didn't know anything. Uh, I started out first with uh, Twitch Studio. Uh, then I went over to Streamlabs OBS. Uh, now it's just Streamlabs, I guess. Uh, and then from there, I graduated to what I like, and I call because uh, Twitch Studio was the most user friendly. You just put up pictures, a camera, sound source, you're good. It was the simplest program, so it was really nice for people that were new. Uh, Streamlabs is a lot more user friendly. You could even grab scenes, and they'll put it in there for you. So. I would do that. Then once I started getting more advanced and I started learning the knowledge about these screen switches, doing this and that, I went to OBS. Now, OBS is not user-friendly. It doesn't hold your hand. It says, hey, I'm, I'm not your daddy. You're going to figure this out. But when you can figure OBS out, it, to, in my opinion, it's the best, most powerful one. But again, OBS likes to break when it gets updates. So when you have a big stream like mine and it breaks something, there's a lot of things to look through. Uh, but yeah, it was just really vanilla. And half the time I was missing, I was missing chat. I wasn't talking to chat. I didn't see chat. Then I had learned about how to do TTS and that started helping me get that. And then I started interacting more with chat. And then as I grew and grew and grew, I got into some discords. I, and then from there I, I met Affy and from Affy, I made those connections. So then I, then I just started getting more and more uh, into it, looking and researching, okay, how do I do shout outs? How do I uh, do moderation? How do I do this? Or I'd see something in a stream, like, uh, you know, whenever the, the little emotes bounce around, that's called a, a emote wall widget. I would, hey, what is that that you got? Or when I saw some, first time I seen one of these PNG tubers, a guy had a talking lizard. It was the funniest thing to me. I'm like, what the hell is that program you're using? He's like, oh, it's VivaTube. Uh, okay. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> then I started researching this, you know? So I just basically saw and saw things and I would ask people about it. And the ones that weren't, you know, like, oh, get out of here. You're trying to take my bands. The ones would, that tell me kind of helped me out. And then I knew what to look for. So once I knew what the thing was, I would do research and then I would learn it. So basically I went from vanilla to flash. <laughs> okay. You know, but what I heard out of that story, not only, you know, gleaning off the immense amount of knowledge that you have put together in three years. But the importance was you, what I'm hearing underneath all of that, if I can get a little philosophical is through the positive connections that you made during your streaming. It's that that helped you grow. And you said connections. Yep. It wasn't networking. It wasn't, you know, you were genuinely building the connections and the connections helped you grow. It's amazing how even in this digital world, okay, the, the, the streaming is connections matter, you know, and, and we have to understand that. And, and then it goes back to, you know, how the negativity is not needed on the internet. Cause you can see that there are sometimes chats are just incredibly negative. And I, I think that's dangerous. You know, I mm -hmm. think that negativity in 
uh, social media spaces at all is hurtful. And, you know, we used to we used to be so upset if you saw a TV commercial. Yes, people, there was a time before YouTube when commercials were on TV and we had to sit through them because we couldn't skip them. Um, but if you saw a negative and hurtful commercial on TV, I mean, it was an uproar. You know, families were against it. Now, people break their legs running to the comment sections trying to feed off of others' negativity in certain situations. And it's terrifying. It's not only terrifying, it's sad. You've got to remember, you want to put out positive energy into the world. Uh, you know, you may get used at times or whatever or taken advantage of, but when you put positive energy out and you be kind and, and, and helpful and do good, it's going to come back to you, the positive energy. You know, I choose, I choose to be positive. I, I've, uh, I, I'm going to continue, no matter how big or small I am, going to continue to be positive, continue to make connections, continue not only to help grow my community, but help grow other communities and continue to go forward because, you know, the world needs a little bit more positivity. There's not enough of it. We need a little more sunshine and duck love flex. We need to just stop being mean to people and just be nice. You know, there's some, of course, there's some people that you got to say things, but everybody should already know that it should have to even be spoken. Uh, but that that goes back to the core principle of everything I do. Uh, it's about the positivity. It's about the growth. And it's about the connections. Uh, that's what I enjoy the most is the interaction. The interaction with the chat, with the people. I always tell them, you guys are the real rock stars of the stream. I'm just a guy being silly. You know what I'm saying? I I love that. Because positivity is so necessary. And, you know, because negativity does have to exist. Like, unfortunately, it does have to exist. Like, you, you, you can't hide from it. But... I also believe that, you know, you don't need to ever proliferate it for no good reason, you know, yeah. for, for to gain interest, to spread negativity, to gain, to gain attention, I think is the, is the worst thing that you can do in any media, you know, and unfortunately we're now do, we're just doing mainstream media's job of, of spreading negativity. You know, we do it amongst ourselves. And mm -hmm. when we have the, I love duck love flex, you know, when like you can't help but smile hearing those words, whether or not you know what they are or not, because yeah, you know, everybody paint loves such ducks. a silly picture. Yeah. yeah. Everybody loves ducks. Everybody wants love. And mm -hmm. that's a good flex, you know? And, and then another thing you got to remind yourself too, this is what I, I, I try to always remember. Uh, when somebody comes into your stream, they're giving you the most valuable thing in the world. And somebody will be like, what's that, a Ferrari? Uh, what is it? No, time. Time. You've got to remember, if somebody gives you time, you cannot buy time back. You cannot get time back. You cannot. There's no way to reobtain it. So when people give you time, whether it's one second, one hour, or weeks, you need to remember, that is the most valuable thing that an individual can give you. It may not have, quote, unquote, monetary value, but... It's the most important. And when you lose focus of that, I feel is when you start to lose your 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 community, uh, because the moment I ever get too arrogant to stop acknowledging how great you guys are and how wonderful you guys are is the moment that I will stop doing this. And also, too, if I'm not having fun, I'll stop. So those two things, if one or two happen at the same time or separately, that's whenever this journey is over for me, because I, I'm not going to become one of these people that aren't grateful for their communities. That's amazing. Your respect for other streamers, you know, not only in the things that you say, but in the sharing of knowledge to those that you have made a connection with. You know, I'm not saying that anybody that goes to your stream is going to get, you know, all of that knowledge because, no, that's not right either. You've worked for that, you know. But when you form a genuine connection, you're willing to help. And that, that's got to be incredibly fulfilling, yeah? Like, it, oh, yeah, it's, it's got to be one of the biggest reasons you just stream in general. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Just even like you from that time when uh, I such a random event happened. Uh, I was streaming. Tamale was in there. I had met Tamale through a warrior. And uh, I said, hey, Tamale, uh, since you, I think maybe he hit me with a raid or something. I don't remember exactly what the circumstances were or, you know, maybe because he was newer in the channel. I'll do this from time to time. I'll say, uh, uh, does somebody have a suggestion for a raid? And since he had done 
you know, I, like I said, maybe he raided me or something. I said, Tamale, do you have a suggestion for a raid? And he mentioned your name. Uh, so I raided you, and then you were doing a little podcast-like thing now, back then, and then, you, you know, that was like what you were doing. Then you said, like you said, you were doing the games, and now you're progressing back to your passion, which is a podcast. So to me, the most beautiful thing is to watch the progression and growth and the twinkle in someone's eye when they start to get that spark themselves, too. That's what keeps me going. So, like, I hear you when we were doing these tests. I'm going to do these podcasts. And, and the excitement in your voice and the fire that's united in you, that is what makes me happy. And that's why I don't gatekeep. And that is why I help. Because... That is such a beautiful thing to watch, not only my content blossom, but to watch your content blossom. Because if you look at my YouTube page now, compared to way old stuff, you're like, holy crap, this guy's actually finally getting it. He's getting it. He's making thumbnails. He's getting sassier titles. He's actually being more structured on what he's doing. So those are the things that I really enjoy uh, about it, you know, about all that. That that was beautiful. And, and thank you. Yes, can can I tell the story? So I was I was doing I was doing a little when I first started I didn't know what I wanted to do I just knew that I wanted to get my voice out there you know, uh, and I like because I've always wanted to do radio but mainstream radio doesn't exist in the same way you know so I I wanted to do these podcasts and they're so much different <laughs> the equipment was different everything, um, and. Dark Bunny was there with me. I think we were talking about, uh, like, hospitality, workers in the hospitality world or something like that. And um, all of a sudden, and I was just thinking, I'm like, my chat, there was nobody in the chat, like, very much, you know. And I was like, well, we're, we're doing this, you know, we're doing it. I was just having a good time. And all of a sudden, there's... I hear this sound that I had never heard before from the screen. And I look over and it was like, Iron Man Duck has raided your chat. And I'm like, a raid? There were, I think there were like 14 people. And I was like, oh my gosh, 14 people are seeing me right now. And yeah. uh, it was it was such an awesome feeling. And and from that moment on, you know, you were talking to me. I was, I was like, I was, I was, I was, I was completely blown away. And you did really well too, because you know, you just kept talking and kept doing your thing. You didn't get over uh, flustered or anything. So you were blossoming in the moment. I was really proud of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. See, you know, there are, it's nice to have you on and be actually able to talk to you. Cause I mean, I can talk to you and chat when I see your streams, but you know, it's, it's different when you're actually connecting like this, you know? Um, but it was, and then I would, and then I went and saw your streams and, I was like, this is amazing. Like this, this guy actually came and saw, saw me and, and I, I keep going back, you know, and because the connection has been made, you know, um, you have, you have, uh, what is it? The duck, the quackettes, the quackettes and the bromances, I think. And the quackers too. So it's quackettes, quackettes, and then I have bromances. That was a fun thing. (laughs) Yeah, That was a fun thing. Uh, so for instance, let me see here. What, what screen was that one? Was it this one? No, it's this one here. This one right so here. Normally when he's pulling this up, it says bro, man, bro, ho, ho, man. And it's, it's just, every time you hear it, you have to look at the chat because it's like, Hey, is it somebody, you know, like it really, and, the, it, and when it, the quack gets come in, I do this one here too. Sorry to interrupt you. No, that's it. It's great because it is like it is like that show cheers like it's literally your your stream is is a cheers stream i love it like norm (laughs) yeah exactly like you go in there and and you feel you feel at home and that's a great way to that's a great way to be entertained whether it's a scary game whether it's a, a con you know something funny um you know and nobody likes seeing you like when you have when when you uh when you get killed on screen or dying game you know no nobody nobody wants to see that you know we're like no duck don't go there i think it was what was it uh, uh not little nightmares um i made a skyer as uh, i think probably the one you're talking about because yesterday uh, i actually put a uh a, a, a warrior made a clip ye- yesterday of it i went into a room yesterday right uh in that game and there was a switch 
I turned the switch and this guy jumped up and I damn near had a heart attack. I screamed and almost threw the keyboard. <laughs> and, you know, like, and <laughs> so I got that little clip. And like you said, when y'all came in the other day, uh, and you know, when I'm dying, I, I I don't rage or anything. I'm like, no, they're ratchet on me, or I'll be like, they're teabagging me, or whatever. I'll make it into something silly. And and it's it makes it a very 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 comfortable place to be entertained in your chat because you'd never feel you're not there just waiting for a moment to be able to join in. You know you can join in and you'll be included and that's a really great way to feel entertained and you can't get that just watching tv you're exactly right that makes me really happy too that that you and others feel that way because that means i'm fulfilling my mission with my stream because not only i want y'all to be chat uh, chat talk to seen and and have things to do but i want your day to be a little bit more better uh, I want you to leave with a little bit of a smile and a little bit of positivity. And then uh, hopefully I inspire you like I uh, like a lot of you inspire me to say, you know what? Look at him. He's doing it. I'm going to excel, too. And then he's going to come in. He's going to see this. And not only am I going to be proud of myself, he's going to be like, wow, look at that, bro. You're doing it. You're doing it. And it, I just love that. That that makes me happy that you guys feel good because a lot of times uh, Palmer runs across this himself, too. Uh you know, I sometimes think, man, I didn't do enough for the, the chat today. I stream, I don't think I did good. And people are like, oh, it was a great stream. It was a great stream. And then I'm like, okay, as long as they're happy, I'm happy. Because, you know, I can get into my own head sometimes. You know how, how those kind of thoughts can get in, the what-if alleys and all this stuff. So to hear you tell me that it, it makes you happy and others tell me it makes me happy. I'm, I'm glad because please keep doing what you do. You know, I, I may be sitting here you know, in an interview, interviewer context, but please keep doing what you do. You know, it, it's, you're a reason that I'm doing what I do. So please keep doing what you, thank you. Keep doing what you do. Be, and if you haven't stopped by and seen this guy ever, go see it uh, and feel this. It's, it's unbelievable. Really. It's unbelievable. And his respect for the streamers. You have great moderators in your chat. You have uh, amazing positivity when it comes. You you give people shout outs. I mean, you even ask during raids. I've heard you say, if you're a streamer, put a number in chat and we'll give you a shout out. You know, you you give everyone a chance in the spotlight, even in your own stream. And that is such a, f a great feeling there because nobody ever takes advantage of it. We share it. We're all sharing it. And it's just such a great way to be entertained during a stream. And it, I, I don't find that feeling in a lot of places. And I mean... It's, it's one of those feelings that can take you out of yourself, you know, like it can take you back to a simpler time if you remind something in a game or it just makes you feel like you're talking with good friends or so there's a there's a plethora of things that are satisfied and it's I hope that continues to grow. For oh, you. most definitely. And sorry to interrupt, but like you, how you've said, there's such good, beautiful connections and vibes and stuff. Uh, two, uh, last Saturday it was. Uh, Setikos, which is a f friend of mine and a mod, and she lives in Italy. Uh, she, you know how you said we have all this beautiful connection. She told me and chat live on stream how she had uh, got her results back and she was cancer free, and everybody in chat was congratulating her and telling her thank you. Uh, they were happy for her, and it was such a beautiful moment to share with her, with chat, and, and this the world. You know, everybody was so happy and so relieved with her. And she was so happy and she was so relieved. And, you know, that was beautiful. And then one point in, in one of the streams, she was getting a little on to herself because she felt like she wasn't in the shape she used to be and all of this stuff. Because she does all kinds of cosplay and, and fighting games and stuff. I said, Setikos, put it this way. You're a pillow. Pillows are supportive and they're soft and they're supportive. And, and, and everybody likes pillows. <laughs> You know, to make her feel better. So I try to do stuff like that for people. You know, raise their spirits. I know how it feels to be depressed. I, I deal with it quite often. That's, again, another beautiful message from Iron Man Duck. 
And Setikos, if you do watch this, congratulations on being cancer-free. I'm sorry I wasn't there to see it in stream, but that's I am so happy to hear that. Uh, and you're great just the way you are. Um, Duck, we only have a few more minutes left. Now, you always have an important message at the end of every stream. Would you, would you do me the honor of uh, saying it here now, please? Yeah. First off, uh, remember... Be positive, be loving, be caring. Remember, those who care about you accept you for who you are, and those who don't, don't need to be in your life. Uh, also, too, in your streams, you wouldn't let people disrespect you in your real home. Don't let them disrespect you in your digital home. Uh, don't be afraid to backslash ban that username uh, somebody. It's better to get rid of one bad apple than to ruin the bunch because the vibes can come from happy down to crap really fast and most importantly check on people small on people see how they are let them know they're being seen you never know what someone's going through there's been so many stories about people uh smiling at somebody and they tell that person the next day look you know what that smile you gave me kept me from doing something undoable uh fixing something that would have been un un unfixable to myself so you know if you're if you're you're sad and you're having a uh, you're in that darkness Surround yourself with people that understand it. So when you're in an up cycle, you can help them when they're in the down cycle. Uh, remember, it can't rain all the time. Uh, reach your hand out in that darkness and help your friend. And you got to realize sometimes when people, well, this is a hard lesson I learned recently. You got to realize sometimes when people are in the depression, they might not be ready to be helped. All you can do is listen a little bit and then let them uh, go through the process. Because the only person who makes the decision if Iron Man Duck continues another day with this depression battle, winning it by not giving into it is, uh, is me not making a decision. So you always got to take care of yourself like that. And like I said, remember the other words too. Uh, we do what we can when we can. And I'm going to reiterate what I close every, every raid with. Those who care about you, accept you for who you are. Accept you for who you are. And those who don't, don't need to be in your life. And that's it, brother. Thank you so much for that, Iron Man Duck. That is so important, and it can apply <laughs> to everything. Thank you. Thank you to chat for being here today. Thank you, Iron Man Duck, for being in t here Thank today. You. Before we close this out, though, talk about what your stream's going to be tonight. All right, so... Tonight uh, is going to be at 2 p.m. Central. We're going to be playing Aliens Fire Team Elite. Uh, it'll be me, uh, Soul Reaper, and uh, and it'll be Labyrinth. Uh, my Twitch and YouTube schedule, because I stream on both. If if you get on either one, I'll hear you. I have bots set up. Uh, my stream schedule is Wednesday is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central. Thursdays is 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central. Uh, Saturday is 6 p.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. Central, and Sunday is um, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central. On my Twitch, if you go down to the schedule, it will actually tell you what time that is in your time zone, and it'll show you what games are being played for the week because I update them all. Uh, but it's going to be a fun time to have Labyrinth with us because Labyrinth is going to be a lot smarter than what we call all our AIs Billy Badass. And when we play that Aliens Fire Team Elite, the AI on our side is stupid. The aliens that come to eat us, that AI is smart. I've actually seen them. You run one direction to get away. They will turn around and come at you like really fast. So, but yeah, so that's what we got going on later on today. So it's going to be a fun time. Y'all can come in there and hit the goat on me, uh, steal my ball, you know, get crabs from warrior, whatever you want to do. Everyone go check it out. I plan on being there. Thank you again. Iron Man Duck for coming on. Thank you again, chat. If you are listening to this on YouTube, consider uh, following me there. And if you want, check me out on Twitch at A Voice Among Many and consider giving me a follow. Thank you again for being on my show. And everyone, this is Avam saying, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you the next time we're on.